friends, denizens of the internet, hello and welcome to a new series over here at Lost Time Gaming. I'm Devo, and uh, don't ask me why, but there's some snarling, almost demonic creatures in the background. I don't think that's supposed to happen, but either way, we are kicking off a new series called Dead Space today. This is the 2023 remake of Dead Space, and uh, I'm pretty sure my save file has an enemy directly in front of us, but that's uh, that's my like new game plus file. We're not going to be doing that. We're going to be starting fresh today. And suffice to say, we're going to start at medium. Um, if you don't know Dead Space, it's basically if the movie Alien got meshed with the survival horror genre of, it, of video games, and it's excellent. It might be one of the greatest games ever. I actually played this so much on my friend's Xbox 360 when he got it that it caused his 360 to get the Red Ring of Death, hilariously enough. And this game's actually so hardcore, I just tried to record this episode a few minutes ago, and it actually, like, black screened my computer. It didn't blue screen it. I full on had to flick the power switch at the on the power supply. Okay, so we're on the USG Kellyan en route to Aegis system. We're supposed to help the USG Ishimura. That's it. That's all the intro we get here. I think it's me. Oh, I wish I could talk to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. I just wish I could talk to someone. It's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. It's strange. Such a little thing. That's her? Nicole? Yeah. First I've heard from her in weeks. We're five minutes out, you still got that thing on repeat? Guess you really miss her. Ishimura is not a job you turn down, but six months apart with only vid calls? It's rough. Easy to say the wrong thing. I don't blame you. I'd listen to my girlfriend over Hamlet reciting security protocols. Forewarned is forearmed, Miss Daisy. So you keep saying. Here we go. Nice clean re entry. Six months staring at that chunk of rock. To an independent miner, that's paradise. Aegis 7 is one of the richest finds in CEC history. Some prospecting team set up for life. Now, where is she? There. Confirming visual contact with USG Ishimura. What a beauty. Biggest planet cracker in her class, you know. And it looks like they already popped the cork. Why is it so dark? We should be able to see our running lights. Yeah. I'll get us into hailing range. Someone's gotta be waiting up for us. Just be careful on the approach. I'm not taking any chances with CEC's pride and joy. No chances, huh? Is that why you were digging into my personnel files before we left? Did you check your file access? I'm a computer analyst. It comes with a job. I ran standard CEC background checks, Miss Daniels. If you wanna work in the big leagues, you have to play ball. <coughs> Sir, we're in ailing range. USG Ishimura, this is the emergency maintenance team of the USG Kelly responding to your distress call. Come in, Ishimura. Ishimura, do you copy? Come in. This is the USG Kelly. You ever hear of a communications black on one of these things? No. Come on. Someone pick up the damn phone. Sounds like their communication array is busted. Maybe a broken encoder. Daniels and I can handle it in 48 hours, max. Hey, that gives you plenty of time to catch up with Nicole. Yeah, I hope so. Jen, Johnson, take us in. Gravity tethers engaged. Automated docking. Let's go. We're losing control. Good. I'll live. Good 
Just. It's my ankle. Might be broken. Shit. But better than a broken neck. Or worse. Good call on the stabilizer, Isaac. That I always read the manual. What the fuck's going on with flight control? That guidance system's a death trap. Better add it to your repair list. Jen, what's our damage? Copter down. We lost four boosts, sir. We've got a fire in one of the stabilizers and... Singularity cores of mess. Could be worse, but not by much. Then let's get some help. Johnston, stay with the Kelly. We'll send a medic. Everyone else, with me. We're off to a great start here. Nothing like rescue ship coming in and a crash landing. All right. Well, that's Mosey. Johnston, hang loose. Not a great start to our repair mission. What's your this? Standard procedure, Miss Tanker. We'll register them for flight damage. Hello? Where is everybody? Half the ship must have heard that landing. Be proud, Chen. You gotta see her one piece. Johnson might disagree. But if you're offering to buy the first round, then. I wouldn't mind something with city mentors, especially on CEC stuff. You see anyone in flight control? No, nobody. Yeah, just ignore the flickering light. That's that's probably fine. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that at all. Hmm. At least we didn't take out the sign. Oh yeah, before we get into it, uh, this game's got some like extreme gore in it. Uh, not so much in the way of like that really last portion of the Outlast, but it's intense. Just throwing that out there. That's not good. I can't read security. Same for the chief engineer. What is wrong with their comms? I don't know, but I reckon we're gonna find out. I like how the screens boot up like they're CRT monitors with the the uh, image all like diagonal. Oh, I don't know. Oh, we'll uh. We'll we'll read that in a minute. In a hurry. Where's the security detail? Where's anybody? There's nothing logged. No duty roster. No power to the elevator. For God's sake. That security console is still working. Isaac, get a damage report. Huh? We're done playing around. Wait, we were playing around? Oh, jeez. That's good to know. Something on the floor here. Is that? I, I need that damage. Oh, it's coffee. <laughs> okay, let's just scan this security terminal. What could go wrong? Oh, that's not good. Uh, now. What have you got? Shit. It's not just comms with the guidance system. Half the Ishimura's in the red. Engines, hull, the tramps. Could do that kind of damage to a planet cracker. Okay, that's the power. Ventilation's up. Power to the elevator should be. Hazardous anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. Another malfunction? No. The quarantine systems are all fine. But wait, do you hear that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I hear it. Yeah, man. Take it easy. Okay, time to go. Let me out. Let me out. Okay, I'd like to leave now. Okay. Oh, hi. I'm. Wow. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna leave.
Okay, I'm going. I'm going. I'd like to leave now. I'd like to activate. Oh no! And we're covering gore now. Great. Games just started. We already hit Evil Dead levels of being covered in blood. Ah, uh, well. That's just how I remember it in the original game, that's for sure. Yeah, just ignore the bloody sign that says cut off their limbs on the wall. That's, that's nothing to look into there. Totally normal thing. Everybody's got those. Woo! That, nope, oh, yep, there we go. Isaac Clark stomps things like a boss. Oh, I'm coming. Oh, oh, I'm not coming. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, that's unfortunate for me. Nope. Yeah, that's nightmare fuel. All right, so. Yeah, Dead Space has probably one of the most memorable intros to a game I've ever played. Um, always stayed up there as one of my favorites. Now, this is most, mostly a uh, Resident Evil 4 situation where... Uh, yep, you did that in the original, too. Where, um... This is a, just a really great remake. We've got, obviously, enhanced graphics. Uh, from my original playthrough of this, there's entire sections of the game that are kind of rerouted and just make more sense. And it's just great. Alright, so, this is where I got last time before the game decided that it was going to black screen my computer. So hopefully I hit this and it doesn't crash my computer. I don't know what caused it. There's a little bit of a stormy weather today, but like none of nothing else in my apartment went off, so I don't I don't know. Security request retrieved. It didn't die. We shot that fucker right between the eyes and it didn't die. Smith had to shoot its fucking arms and legs off. For God's sake, send help. Yep, so the name of this game is shoot the limbs off of things. Don't just shoot things. You've got to shoot the limbs off. Or stomp them off. Whichever feels better. You see, now he's just a torso. And that's a, that's a pro-level Dead Space move right there, is to basically torsoify every, every corpse we run into. And there's something to keep in mind, uh, the way this game does its shaders is that there will be minuscule uh, stuttering here and there, and that's not because I have the settings cranked up, so it just does that. Oh, hey! Isaac! Oh my god, Isaac! You made it! Just... they're everywhere. Shit, is he, uh... He's... gone. Nothing I could do. What the fuck are these things? The ones I saw? Some of them were wearing Ishimura uniforms. They're the crew? How the hell can they be the crew? Look at them. We need to get to the bridge. There's a thousand people on board. Someone will be there. We can't. The tram system's wrecked. Everything's locked down because of the quarantine. And you're both repair techs. So how do we do this? There's a broken tram car blocking the tunnel. It's gridlocked the system. And the data board's burned out. I can't lift the lockdown or call the tram until we get a spare from the maintenance bay. But it's all on Isaac's side of the quarantine. I'll handle it. Just make sure there's power to the repair systems. And Isaac? Yeah? I'm sure Nicole's okay. She's the doctor, right? She'll do the smart thing. Yeah. Yeah, she always does. Find somewhere safe. I'll be back soon. Alright. Objective update to get the tram running. Oh, yeah, uh, we, we had a thing to read Sponsored article the USG Ishimura, okay, so 
this is this is big but you know what this is a game i, I feel bad that uh we kind of skip over a lot of the stuff in death stranding so i'm gonna read this bad boy Disclaimer, this article is sponsored by CEC's print and publishing division and may not represent the views of Amazing Universe magazine. Imagine a world where basic resources like fuel, ore, metals, and ice are hard to come by. Imagine if humanity's needs were entirely dependent on the nearly extinct resources of Earth and the dwindling supplies of the colonies. Older readers don't need to imagine such a world. You lived it less than a century ago. Looking to the stars for additional resources was nothing new, and at the time, the only shock point capable ships were smaller vessels that could barely keep up with demand. Enter the Ishimura. Named after the celebrated astrophysicist and inventor of the shock point drive, Hideki Ishimura, the USG Ishimura was the first of the massive planet cracker ships, built in 2446. She has enjoyed a long and storied career. The Ishimura was the first vessel of her size to utilize the shock point drive for large-scale commercial deep space expeditions. At her inception, the Ishimura was hailed as the savior of the colonies. She was created to mine and process asteroids and even small moons with remarkable efficiency. She was also the first ship capable of the pioneering scan and catch technique for harvesting mineral-rich asteroids. Utilizing huge gravity tethers, the Ishimura could lock on asteroids and pull them inside the ship's massive collection bays for quick and efficient smelting. At 62 years old, the Ishimura is still in remarkable shape. Her equipment has been upgraded over the years, and many of her interior spaces have been retrofitted to take advantage of the current technological advances. Despite so many long years of service, she remains the pride of the CEC fleet and is still the company's largest planet cracker. Whenever a vital deep space mining project requires skill, experience, and dedication, the Ishimura is ready to answer the call. It is ships like the Ishimura and the dedication of the men and women who crew her that built the Concordance Extraction Corporation into the trusted, dependable resource provider it is today. Okay, that's fun. What's this other stuff? Oh, I think... Oh, this is just the stuff we uh, we saw already, I want to say. Right? Yeah, we, we saw this stuff already. Okay, so that's just our kind of our journal, so to speak. Good to know. Data board needed. Yeah, we don't have one of those, unfortunately. That's a Belgian bummer. Yeah, we don't have the data board. I get it. I get it. Credits. Oh, save station. Nice. We're going to save it here. Actually, let's just save it over, over, oh, oh, oh. Save it there. Yes, why not? All right. We have ourselves a tasty little save point. Which is great, because we're going to need it, because th this game scares the crap all out of me. All right, what's our scan? What's our... How do we... Tram tunnel? No. Baggage hall? I don't know. Is this where we're going? I know we get, like, a... I don't like all the baggage laying on the floor. Or the blood. That's probably not good. Or the more blood and the intestines. None of this is good. Also, I just want you to take a minute and enjoy the awesome lighting in this game. If there's one thing that's amazing in this game, it's the lighting. Now, this game's pretty awesome in its own right, but... No power. The lighting in this remake is just superb. Oh, this is the other side of where we got that free heart attack before. Lovely. Yeah, I don't believe you. Yep, I, I figured you were doing that. Yep, there we go. Just turn you into a corpse. Now, it's not super important right now, but eventually, at a certain point, we will have to torsoify and basically just remove the legs, arms, and head of every corpse we come across because there are certain enemies later in the game that will take corpses and turn them into uh, enemies against us. Where go hall storage? Can you turn that on? I was gonna say that's back here, isn't it? Oh, don't do that. 
Why'd you go in the ducks? Why? Hmm? Where you, where you, where are you dropping out of? I know you're gonna. Oh yeah, the oh, what? What? Who dares? Oh crap! Oh yeah, another thing in this game, uh, apart from the lighting, that's just sick, nasty, awesome, is the sound design. This game might have one of the best sound designs I've ever heard in a video game. Just from the way. You'll not not just the the enemies as you can tell like I clearly heard an enemy was coming from like the ceiling there, but um, Later on we'll start hearing other things and you'll get a more uh, More direct idea of what I'm talking about with the excellent sound design Now we need to go There we go, that's what we need Step around the corpse. Oh, another save point. Good. We're going to need it. Save complete. Isaac, don't bother shooting those fuckers in the head. Doesn't even slow them down. Okay. The only way is hacking them apart. Those arms, their legs. Does that even kill them? Or do they just stop moving? Hmm, that's a good question, Hammond. Which do you think it is? Oh, the, the name of these creatures, I believe, by the way, is called Necromorphs. As if they weren't horrific enough. No. This game has a penchant for, yeah, I was going to say, for throwing an enemy in front of you and then having enemies run up behind you. Let's be like, oh, hey, by the way, were you checking your six? You are not checking your six. Well, I was. Screw you. But yeah, and every enemy will drop something when you die, or when they die, rather. So anytime you kill somebody, if they don't drop, like, an item or something along those lines, just give them a stomp, and they'll uh, they'll just explode with some free stuff, which is just great. What? Who dares? I heard it. Where's it coming from? Oh yeah, you coming this way? Why don't you run by this canister here? That would be just great. Thanks, I appreciate that. I like the juxtaposition of this game in comparison to the Resident Evil 4 remake as well. Both both superb remakes in their own right. But much like Resident Evil 4... Much in the same vein that Resident Evil 4 was a departure for the Resident Evil series away from straight horror and into the action horror kind of genre. Dead Space has action. It contains action. You can see we're shooting stuff, but it's 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 just dripping with horror at basically every turn. There there really isn't a single section of this game where I want to go there. The the game's like go here, and it's like I ah, I'd rather not. You know, it's I'll pass. Mm, no, I don't want to do that. The game's like well, you're gonna we're gonna need you to go ahead and do that. So it's just kind of, uh, it's really awesome to play through the Resident Evil 4 remake and enjoy that for what it is and play this for a totally different experience but also have it be a older style game that uh, I played a lot of back in the day. Now I don't know where I'm going. I think, yeah, I think I was supposed to go down back here. There's just so much, so much realism in the Dead Space world. Now, obviously, we're in the 24 or what, the 25th century, so uh, technology is sufficiently advanced beyond what we're aware of. 
but you know you already kind of saw some of it on our way in here you know there's shock point drives which i assume is just a fancy version of hyperdrive um there's gravity tethers which means we can kind of have a limited mastery over gravity and these are all things that like are just science fiction at this point yeah ever since that intro i'm nervous of all elevators oh there's there's blood on the front of that elevator that's that's probably not good do not exceed max load 2600 kilograms okay i mean that's a lot so it should be okay but the the anxiety that this game gives is a whole different level beyond what you would get from you know resident evil 4 or even just a lot of games, you know, attempting the same level of horror, it's usually pretty pretty pales in comparison to what I can always feel playing this game. Even though I've played and beat this game, and it's original, numerous times. Uh, I didn't like playing and beat this version of it a lot, just once. But it never ceases to give me that level of anxiety. Even on a second playthrough, when you're using all your... Oh yeah, you're just you're just taking a nappy poo. Okay, sure you are. Yeah, uh huh. Nope, back up. It's just always just. Oh, t oh did you see that? It stopped and looked at me. Ugh. Die, please. Thank you. Don't like that. Oh, you guys are just hanging out too. Okay. You guys are just hanging out. You're not lying. Well, we'll stomp you into a fine paste, just to be sure. And you gotta... You're probably... Or, well, you may not be wondering why Isaac's stomp is so brutal. wonder if you could see it. Isaac's wearing mag boots, which means he can do stuff like walk on the exterior of a spaceship and not fall off into the void of space. So his boots are extra chunky but in the best possible fashion. Basically great for stomping things to death. All right, circuit breaker, what do we got here? Okay, the maintenance room we need, lights we... We do need the elevators to go back down. Oh, so I gotta turn the lights off? Oh, okay. I, oh, I don't like that. Oh, it's, it's, it's like maximum darkness now. Repair invoice. UCG, USG Ishimura. Aerospace Engineering Department. Shuttle repairs invoice. Mission day two. Faulty 4 gyro. Vessel USG.ish.503 replaced. Now functional. Mission day three. A faulty 40 scope. Uh huh. Still in repair. Mission day four. Damaged landing repulsors. Complete replacement. Now functional. Damaged four and left four viewports. Replaced. Now functional. Mission day five. Damaged booster collar, vessel UHG, IS, okay, repair, now functional. Engineer's note, J. Wright, second engineer, maintenance bay. Oh, well, that's just a regular old, uh, that's just a regular old maintenance log. That wasn't even, there was nothing weird about that at all. Good thing we turned those people into a pile of limbs and torsos. Okay, all right, uh, no, I'm going to need you to back up. Oh crap. Okay. Yeah, you're not dead. Okay, that's that's unfortunate for me. Yeah, don't don't bother shooting any of these guys in the torso on any level whatsoever, because it just does nothing. And it may seem messed up, but stomping enemies to get stuff is actually a key component of not running out of items. Basically every second of the day, because on the higher difficulties, they can really kind of slow roll you with what's laying around. Okay, well, thankfully we left the elevator on or it'd be screwed right now. Oh, that was really loud. Okay, that, freak, that freaked me out. Now, I've turned the 3D audio on for this, so if you listen to this, hopefully, uh, uh, I hope, with headphones on, you'll actually be able to experience a certain level of the binaural audio engine this game uses for 3D audio. Eh? Okay, all right, that's bad for me. It's also bad for you. You just turned into a pile of stuff. What, where, who dares?
Could you? Could you stop, please? I. Really? Okay. Well, that's terrifying. I. Uh oh. Okay. I, I don't like this. I'd like to get off the train now. There's all kinds of noises and stuff going on. I'm not sure. Wait, there was the stairs up. We didn't have to go in the elevator. Oh, well, that, that sucks for me. And the thing is, is I think I knew that because we just, I just went up there before. Okay, well, okay. I, I could have left the lights on, I guess. Honestly, I like that the game allows you to do stuff like that, though. Turn the lights off to save power for, like, something like an elevator. Just collecting the stuff first. I know I know. there's the uh, item we need in here, but let's hit the bench first. That's how we do upgrades. Fun. And for right now... Oh, yeah, the game's like, hey, why don't you use the arrow keys like a pleb? Like a... Okay, I... HP and air. Now you think that's crazy, but trust us, or trust me, once, uh, what does that say? To join is to survive. Well, that doesn't bode well for me. Um, once we get a few upgrades on air, I we never have to worry about it anymore. Much longer. Hearing a lot of movement. I'm halfway done. Found a data board. Just gotta move the tram. Okay, Daniel, watch that door. <laughs> Yeah, we could have waited a few more seconds and used a gas canister to kill him. Oh, I hear, I hear noises. Don't do it. Was that behind me? I'm pretty sure that was behind me. Yep. Okay. And honestly... <laughs> Doing this as a Let's Play is actually making this even more anxiety-ridden because if I talk too much, I won't be able to hear where they're coming from. But that's a problem for me in the next episode because that's all the time I have for this episode today. Thank you, everybody, so much for joining me in another exciting look into the world of Dead Space. I am Devo at Lost Time Gaming. If you enjoyed the video today, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments section below what you thought about my gameplay, my commentary, or anything else in general. Being said, thanks for watching, and as usual... I'll catch you all on the flip side.